So what I will do is go to my folder here and let's go to user.php, which shows a single user. And there we go. First name, last name. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, this looks uh, pretty standard. So right after the name here, I want to put the timestamp. So I will say down here, uh, what do I say here? Let me put this inside a span so I can uh, style it. So I want to style this and say color. Let's try a gray color. We will change that. And then let's try font size. I want to reduce this to maybe 12 or 11 pixels. Okay, so in here now we will put our PHP tags and echo out what do we echo out. I think maybe some consistency would be nice. So let me just echo it like that. And friend row. I don't know why we're using friend row in here. It should be more descriptive. It's like user row or something. Okay, so friend row, and uh, we will say here, what will we say? Oh yeah, this is this is showing our friends usually. That's why there's friend row there. So we'll say online, like so. So let's come back here and refresh the page. So on this one, we will see that uh, there's a zero there. Uh, that's not really what I want to see because... This is because this user has not recorded anything there. So let's add a bit of logic to this uh, thing so that we don't uh, get that kind of zeroing in. So let me put some PHP tags here so we can do some calculations before we get to this part. So I will get this and say if that is greater than zero. This is the only time we will do some evaluation. But first of all, let's say, um, let's set online is equal to unknown, right? So let's do that. And then we will echo the online here, like so. This way, when I refresh, it says unknown. So instead of just writing that, we can say last seen like that, because that's what people are used to seeing actually. So maybe I should put a break tag here, like so. Ooh, okay. So let's see if we can change things a little bit here. So inline block display let's see if we can add some width so let's say width a very fixed width let's say uh, 150 pixels let's see what that does okay so everything moves in there but it doesn't look big enough so let's put 200 just so we can fit more info there okay that looks much much better Let's also add a little bit of a background color. So just off white, let's put EEE -E -E there, just next to white. And then I will double my break tag here. So there is more space. Something like this. And then on top of that, uh, actually, why is this going? This shouldn't be going down here. What I want is the break tag to be here right below the name okay much much better but maybe it was nice having one of them at the top so let's just put one at the top and one at the bottom and then let me reduce the font size to 11 and then font weight to normal so that it's not bold as it looks bold to me there. Okay, much better. So last scene unknown. There is the person. Okay, so good. So let's go to following here. And last scene unknown followers. Last scene unknown. Okay, 
good so i think we are in the right direction but now let's see when we do get a last scene here so i will log in as somebody else so i can see my own state so let's do that log out log in as mary how is it mary okay password there we go so last scene unknown but definitely that shouldn't be unknown so let's come here and do some evaluation so we can update that so if this is greater than zero then online is going to be equal to now this is where we can use our time class so i will say time we can use it directly as a static uh, let's actually just do that we can use it directly as a static one static class without creating an instance so that we save some memory because this is just a simple operation so we'll do that and say get time okay so if you want like in the time class here normally you're going to what we do is we say time is equal to new time and then we say time and then we put an arrow get time that's the normal instancing method but you can still use uh, functions as static functions like this without instantiating this class so you can just choose any function inside a class and you can still access it like this without making an instance if it's a simple operation Okay, so get time. Now time accepts uh, a few parameters here. So let's go up here and see. So these with equal signs are obviously optional, but this one is required because it doesn't have an equal sign. So past time, so this is the time that we need. Now the format that it gets the time is in this format. However, ours is simply a, um, what is it? It's a, it's a number of seconds it's called it's called a unix i think it's a unix timestamp or something but anyway the thing is get time we're going to put the this online okay but in order to keep things uh, neat i will move this and assign it to that whatever is in here just so we can use a smaller word here to be easier to see what's happening in here like so but because this is not the format that we want so let's create a format that it expects which is this format right there okay so what i will do is copy this come back here so now the thing is uh we could have put this format inside the database to start with but i just wanted you to see what we would do if you had a unix <clears throat> number of seconds from 1970 just so you can uh, see how to convert that so you just say date and then you give it the formula that you want so you want the year the month the day or whatever it is but since this is the format that we want we are taking in here so we will convert that and simply move the online in there put a comma so what i'm telling it is that convert this number of seconds into this kind of date and yeah so here i will assign this to online so that we can capture the result that i think should do it so let's see right there so as you can see last scene four minutes ago so I might want to say last scene and then put a break tag there so that we have uh, one line up. Okay, so last scene four minutes ago. See? So, yeah, that was four minutes. Now, how do we show that the user is currently online right now? Now, that is simple. All we need to do is check if only a... Um, less than a minute has passed and we'll say online instead of uh, writing all this okay so what i will do here is this let's do some calculation now the reason why uh, the second reason i used a number of seconds is because it's easy to calculate with number of seconds right 
So if it's greater than zero still, okay, what we will do is, actually, what I want to do is remove this last scene part here, cut it, and then I will put it as part of this. So I will say, uh, online is equal to, I will do this, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm going to put it there like so. Now, the reason I'm putting it here and here as well, last scene, and then add to that. So let's see if we haven't broken anything. So it looks exactly the same. Okay. Now, the reason I've done that is because sometimes I just want to say online. So it wouldn't be nice for you to say last scene online. So I just wanted to say online if they were if they're actually still online. And then maybe we can change the color to something like green or something uh, when they are online there. So let's see what we can do about that. So here, what we will do is all this quite okay. But what I want to do is do a calculation in here. So what I will say is current time let me ask the current time is equal to time, right? Like so. And then now I want to check how much time has passed since the last time they were online. So if it's less than a minute, then I will know that they're still online. So I will say one minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? That's how many seconds it is. But let's say, let's give it two minutes, not just one minute. So we'll say 60 times two. This is two minutes now because 60 seconds is a minute and times two, that's two minutes. Okay, so there we go. So that's one minute. Now we want to see if the difference is less than one minute. So I will put an if statement and say if, right? So let's look at uh, current time. So current time is always bigger. So when you are subtracting, you put that first. So if current time, because it's always bigger because the number of seconds is increasing. So if current time minus the old time, which is this one right there, if current time minus, actually I'd put it here. So this will be required still. So let's move this to the top. So we can use it for calculations. So if current time minus online, so let's put that inside a bracket, minus that is less than, okay? If it is less than one minute, it's actually not one minute here. So, because this is now two minutes, so this will be confusing. So what I will do is I'll just say threshold, something like this, maybe that will make more sense. So if the threshold is two minutes, right? So you can just comment this one and say two minutes, so you can remember. So if the current time minus that is less than the threshold, then it means we are online. So online is equal to online like so okay else we will do this instead pretty cool now right here because remember i am putting this inside a span so i can put another span here and give it a different color so say span and then close the span and then I will style it, style is equal to. So here I will say color. Let's try some green to show that we are online. Okay, refresh. Okay, nine minutes ago. So Mary is definitely online right now. So before two minutes elapses, let's log out and log in as the other user. And what do you see? She is online. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay.
so this one is online as well with myself i am online so that's how you do it so let's see what other people so this one last seen is still unknown because he has not logged in yet this one it's still saying online it will stop saying that once two minutes has elapsed uh, has elapsed in other words so if I want to see it earlier than that, I can just change the two minutes to one minute, maybe. Hopefully one minute has passed. No, not yet. So let's just reduce it to 20 seconds. I'm sure we have lost 20 seconds by now. Okay, so as you can see, it says 58 seconds ago, right? So it doesn't consider that one online anymore. One minute ago. So, but if I take it back to two minutes, I think we can give someone two minutes to verify whether they're still online or not and it's still saying online so it's entirely up to you how much time you want to pass what before they accessed the page for you to declare them offline okay so so far so good we have added one more feature and i will see you in more videos hopefully we can change the urls to make them look much cleaner